from excel academy kindly make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you register with excel academy in this tutorial i'm going to do my part two of system histology so please make sure that you watch my part one which was just recently being posted so let's quickly look at some few questions so the first question is name the slide so we have been given this slide so if you look at this slide this side this slide is just simply the word the test is so label the parts marked one two and three so if you look at one one is simply the seminiferous tube one is just the seminiferous tube if you see it's just uh the the part which is shown from here to there so this is a seminiferous tube this one is a feminist seminiferous tube that one is also a seminiferous tube and then um two two is just the centauri cells so if you look at those cells there these are just the centauri's uh the centauri cells so these cells i'll explain their functions in the tutorial video that i'm going to post soon and then uh three three is just the lady cells so we have the the centauri cells and the lady cells i'm going to explain their functions in the coming tutorial video so make sure that you you watch so we have identified this slide as a testis and then the parts we have one seminiferous tube two we have this cell which is the centauri cell and then three we have oh, another cell which is lady cell okay let's quickly move on and look at the next slide so label the region marked a so if you look at this slide this slide is having two region there is this region here and then we have oh, the other region here so if you look at the other region the other region has some follicles but this other side it doesn't have so we have two grains here so um a is simply the parathyroid grant and then um b is just the thyroid so if you look at the parathyroid the parathyroid is just an highland of gland which doesn't have follicles so we'll look at these two glands in details okay um let's quickly look at the next slide label the part shown by red arrow so what could this slide be so this slide is just the slide of the tongue as you can see the test buds there so if you look at this slide this slide is just a slide of the tongue so um the the arrow is just pointing at um at the grants so these are just cellus gland or vinebina glands so the these cellus glands are also known as vin ebina gland and then um the part which is being pointed by a yellow alo so this is just the duct of the gland okay let's quickly move on state the function of the part marked a so if you look at the part marked a and this part is just simply talking about this part and this part is just the isolate of lagahan isolate of lagahan so the isolate of lagahan they play a role in um glucose homeostasis like regulation of glucose homeostasis they are able to make sure that the glucose level in the body are not high or low then they put the part the the part marked b c and d so let's quickly look at b so if you look at b b is pointing here b is here and there so this is just collagen and then if you look at c c is just the interlobular duct c is just the interlobular duct and then uh d some people might make a mistake and say d is the isolate of lagerhand no d is a part within the isolate of lagerhand so um when you talk of d d is just simply the vascular stroma 
name the embryonic origin of the organ shown in the slide so this 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 slide is just the pancreas so this is the pancreas and it just comes from the endoderm okay uh, let's quickly look at the next question so the next question is name the slide uh, if you look at this slide you can see some hepatocytes here you can also look at the portal triad there yeah so this this part is showing the portal triad so name the slide this slide is just the liver what is the function of the part marked a so the part marked a is this one the function is just to produce bow or to transport bow it's just transport bow because this is the branch of the bow duct then um label the part so sorry for for that part for for the endoderm part yeah it's not supposed to be there label the part b and c so the part b and c so if you look at b b is just the b is just the artery so it's just the hepatic artery and then c is just the hip uh the portal vein yeah so let's quickly move on and look at the next slide name the slide so this slide is just the liver you can look at the alveoli there you can look at the alveoli duct you can look at the alveoli sac all those guys there so um name the slide this is the lung what is the function of the part marked a so the part marked a which is just the alveolar sac is just transport oxygen into the body and carbon dioxide out of the body so the alveolar sac is the one which does that job label the part a and a b and c so a is just the alveolar sac and then b is just the alveolar which is there and then c is just the alveolar sac okay let's quickly move on and look at the next slide label the part marked a and b label the part marked a and b so this is the ovary yeah this is the ovary the whole slide is the ovary so now uh, if you look at a a is simply the secondary follicle and then b is here it's just the um primordial follicles okay then label the part marked c and d label the part marked c and d so we have c here and we also have um d there so c is just the antretic follicles and then d is just the uh, primary follicle what is the function of the part labeled e so the part labeled e it's just protect the outside egg and embryo during development so this part is just the zona pellucida and then also it regulates the interaction between ovulation ovulated egg and sperm during and after fertilization so one thing we need to understand that the zona pellucida it's one of the content of um one of the content of of the ovary which which protects the ovum which protects the oocyte and it makes sure that it's controlling the process of fertilization okay the next question is label the part marked a and b so before we even label these parts we need to understand one thing that this is the liver as you can see we have some um hepatocytes these nucleus and then these pink guys pink or red these guys are just some glycogen molecules which were being preserved by using pas as a stem so a a these are just sheets uh sheets of hepatocyte so it's just showing the hepatocyte and then uh b b has to be the central vein so yeah we can see the central vein so this is the other side of the liver so we had the portal triad on that other side but this slide we have just considered the central vein and if you look at c 
Label the part marked C. This adjusts sinusoid. What is the function of the part labeled C? So you know this is the liver and the sinusoid will just be helping in the as the main side of blood flow in the liver. Okay, let's move on and look at this other slide. Name the slide. Okay, so if you look at this slide and that slide where I talked about the parathyroid and thyroid, these are just it's just the same slide, but this one they are just focused on the thyroid gland. So if you look at the thyroid, there are some lobules. So this whole thing is just the lobule, and there the there are some follicles as you can see. So this is just the thyroid. What is the embryonic origin of the part marked A? So the follicles, these are just follicles. They just come from the endodem. Yeah. Label the part B and C. So where is B? So if you look at B, B is just the interlobular connective tissue. So this is just the connective tissue, which is the interlobular connective tissue. Then C is just the lobe. Okay. A, remember, it is the follicles. All right. Let's quickly look at this. So this slide is just the tooth. This slide is just the tooth. So label the part A and B. So if you look at A, A is just the inner male. Yeah, A is just the inner male. B is just the dentine. State the name and give the function of the part marked C and D. So if you look at C, C is the one which is outside here. So C is just the ameloblast. C is just the ameloblast. Its main function is to synthesize and secrete a number of inner male specific proteins. So it's normally just uh, synthesize inner male specific um, proteins. Then uh, D, D is just the odontoblast, odontoblast. So if you look at D, D is just the odontoblast. And its main function is just to uh, the secretion of dentine during dentinogenesis. So it normally produces dentine during the process of dentine formation. So guys, make sure that you watch my part one. And please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. This was Dr. Possibility. In case you want to contact me, you can just simply contact me on the numbers that are showing on the screen or on the numbers that you are going to see in the description. Thank you very much, guys. Have a blessed day.